Questions are essential part of science. What makes a good scientific question is that it can be answered by direct observation or with scientific tools. The manner in which we formulate a question is very important when we think of a research and a study. In this lesson vlog, we're going to explain how scientific research questions and the concepts needed to formulate a good research question can be established. Hi, researchers! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Good day! Kumusta kayo? This is me again, Teacher Tin May, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. For the learning competency for this week's lesson, it's all about to develop a research question or a research problem. And for today's lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about formulating scientific questions. So what are the sources of a good research problem a good, to formulate a good research question? And of course, the characteristic of a good research problem and a good uh, research questions. We always use scientific method to raise research questions in order to inquire the environment, to generate new knowledge, or to solve mystery about the natural world. So, we need to keep the steps of the scientific method in our mind. And what are those steps of the scientific method? First is the observation. Okay, second, you have to raise your questions. Okay, and then next, you have to do some research, background research. And then, H is for the hypothesis. Okay, so we have to do and make scientific guess. Experiment, of course, so that we can test whether our hypothesis could be rejected or accepted. And C, we have to collect the data. And of course, after collecting the data, we will proceed to analyzing the data that we have gathered so that we can interpret it. And then afterwards, we have to conclude or make our conclusion and then lastly we have to communicate the result of what we have gathered or what we did in our experiment okay now let us define scientific question so ano nga ba itong tinatawag natin na scientific question scientific question is a question that will lead to hypothesis and it will help us to answer and figure out the reason for some observation Asking scientific question is part of scientific method, just like what we have discussed a while ago. And this includes observation, asking question, making hypothesis, uh, experimentation, wherein we're going to test whether your hypothesis could be rejected or accepted, and then we're going to formulate a conclusion out of the analysis uh, data that we have gathered from our perform activity or experiment. Now, a good scientific question has good characteristics. And what are those? Number one, of course, it should be testable and measurable. So, dapat pwede natin siyang itest gamit ang experiment na gagawin natin. And of course, there is something that can be measured. When we say testable, it could be tested by someone through experimentation or by some measurement. Again, a solid scientific question must be testable and measurable. Number two, it should have some answer, a real answer. You can complete an experiment in order to answer it. Next, it leads to hypothesis that is falsifiable. What does it mean? Meaning to say it can generate hypothesis that can be shown to fail. For example, an observation that a passing car makes a lot of noise can prompt someone to ask if there is some correlation between the speed of the car and the noise it generates, which can result in a hypothesis that, that at higher speeds, more noise is generated. This can be tested by driving a car and measuring the noise level and these results can help us accept or reject or modify the hypothesis. Next, of course, it should be specific. It must be specific. We have to focus only 
one experiment at a time. Scientists select a research problem for any of several reasons. Some studies are undertaken to evaluate or to advance a particular theory. Others may be undertaken for the purpose of comparing the adequacy of two or more theories. What are the other characteristics of a good research questions? Number one, it can have an answer and be tested. Two, it can be tested by an experiment or by measurement. Number three, it builds on what is already known. And number four, it can lead to other good questions. Let us define first research problem. So what is a research problem? When we say a research problem, it is a suggestion of any topic of interest, a situation that needs to be changed, it can also be a question that needs answer, or it's a problematic topic that occurs in a scientific literature, in a theory, or in action that points uh, to the need for a deeper understanding and deliberate study. So again, what is a research problem? A research problem is a topic that you want to discuss, investigate, or study, whether it is uh, descriptive or experimental. Defining a research problem is the fuel that drives science process. It is the basis of every research problem. Baka pag gumagawa tayo, syempre ang kailangan natin gawin ay yung bagay kung saan interesado tayo. Kaya pag sinabi natin research problem in doing a science investigatory project, research problem refers to the subject of your interest. It can be a trend or a problem that somewhat you are uh, familiar with. A research problem is the principal guiding concept that drives the paper study. The topic under review gives us an opportunity to publish and a concentration that determines what we want to say. It represents the central subject of scholarly communication and how we meet other topics of discussion and the exploration of new understanding and knowledge. Let us talk about the different sources of a good research problem. So, paano ba tayo magka-come up sa mga research problem na kailangan nating investigate i-discuss at pag-aralan? Okay, there are six resources of a good research problem. Number one, we have problems met. Bakit problems met? Maaari na tumingin tayo sa ating paligid. Ano ba ang problema kinakaharap ng ating bansa, ng ating mundo? So, sa pamamagitan ng pag-iisip ng mga problemang nakikita natin sa paligid, we can come up with a good research problem. So, for example, problema sa basura, problema sa pollution, problema sa virus na kinakaharap natin, which is the COVID-19. Uh, it can be a source of a good research problem. Next, number two, we also have... Kaya nga, diba, the reason why one of the characteristics of a good research is it's because a research starts with a problem and then it ends with another problem. That's why other researches is also one of the resources of a good research problem. Punta ka lang sa mga library at magbasa ka ng mga dating research, mga previous research, pwede kang magkaroon ng idea ano kaya ang pwede kong gawin. Pwede kasi yung maisip natin ay related din sa mga nabasa nating mga researches. Okay, number three, creative ideas. Siyempre, dyan tayo magaling. Lahat tayo naman ay merong creative minds. So, pwede rin siya maging source ng good research problem. Number four, we have also the research journals and articles. Number five, we have thesis and dissertations. And number six, we also have the specialization. Number one, Find a nice place where you can be alone and connected with nature. Bring nothing else but a journal and a pencil. Take a few moments to breathe and observe everything that surrounds you. Use all of your senses to obtain information from your surroundings. Smell the flowers around you, feel the leaves, hear the birds, and recognize all the life. Number two, choose a population that is around you and that interests you. For example, flowers, trees, insects rocks and think about what would you like to know about that population write down what you want to study from that population or your variable it is easier to choose the population first and the variable second think about a feasible and simple measurement one easy measurement is counting since it doesn't require an instrument Number three, write down your question using your population and variable. Remember to write a question that is going to be simple, measurable, attainable, relevant, and limited to a particular time and place. Avoid why questions. Next, 
write a prediction that answers your question. This is your hypothesis. Now that you have defined population, measure your variable and obtain data. Don't forget to write it down in your journal. Finally, compare your hypothesis with your actual data and write a conclusion about your findings. These simple and fun steps will help you create great questions that will lead you to find interesting answers and discoveries. But remember, this process not only works for scientific questions, but also for daily issues. You can use it to investigate local environmental problems and provide possible solutions for the benefit of your community and future generations. Hanggang dito na lang ang ating lesson. This is the end of our lesson vlog. I hope you learned something from this lesson. Okay, for our next lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about how to construct research objectives. Okay, and what's the difference between specific and general objectives and how to create one. Okay, so stay tuned hanggang sa susunod nating pagkikita. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in research. Okay, so ayun lang. Maraming salamat. See you on my next vlog. Bye! Subscribe ka muna!